Hello there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Waddles and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. I have huge, huge, huge news today. It's a great day. Uh, I'm very happy about this. Let's go down to the mines and we'll take a look at uh, my friends <laughs> that are finally here. Finally, finally, finally. So, it's the green bouncy men. Yeah, I have an explanation for all of this madness. We've been waiting for these guys to spawn for... Oh man, like, ah, since episode 37 or 38, and it's, it's finally here. I think I've discovered the bug, I, I know what's going on now, and uh, there's an explanation. So, um, you, you see those small bouncing green guys? Those are the smallest version variant of slime. These guys can usually spawn if there is, I think, at least two blocks of space. Now, that's what we had everywhere. We had chunks like this cleared out. Two blocks, easy, clear, and these guys should be spawning, but they, they don't seem to be spawning. I was bored off camera and decided to come down here and just make the chunk taller. I figured it, it can't hurt anything. I started with the chunk that I knew was a slime chunk, and then I started doing just other random ones, and then I thought about it and started clearing out only the chunks that are open on the surface based off of what I want to do. Um, and it seems that slime will only spawn, no matter the size, if there is at least three blocks of space. So, that's the bug, that's the problem, that's the thing. I don't really know why that would be happening, but it's a bug, you know, you, you gotta love them. So, we have slime spawning now, and this opens up a whole new possibility in terms of what we can do. Because we have sticky pistons, or the option to make them now, and that means blaze farm, that means redstone doors, uh, fancier contraptions, flying machines, so many things. Now, that chunk over there has already spawned another slime, and, and it's a slime chunk. This one's a slime chunk, um, this one over there is a slime chunk, and if my calculations are correct, the one behind it should be a slime chunk as well, so that's a double slime chunk, and that's actually amazing, and it's open, uh, like on the surface. There's no buildings above it, so... That's good. Now, when you're working with slime, you can, of course, have buildings on the surface. You don't need to open your slime chunk up to the sky. But that's what I want to do. So that's a pretty big deal to me. But slimes work. It, it, they spawn. Now, I thought about it, and I was going to do the slime farm today. But maybe it makes more sense to introduce the slime stuff today. Talk about it a little bit. And then dive into the project, I think, like next episode. And so that is exactly what we're going to do. So get ready for a massive slime farm project. Project, which will be cool uh, but for today we're going to talk about friends we, we need more friends in our world or well we don't need more i have two that i uh, i i kind of forget about <laughs> but we're, we're gonna get more friends and these friends are found at a at a land that is far far away at least from here we will import these friends from that far land and then bring them over here oh wrong one this one goes uh yeah. We'll import our, I guess you could say, exotic friends and then make a house over here for them and then eventually make a house somewhere else for them at a, a place that I'll probably name creatively Horse Ranch. And what will it be? Well, a ranch for horses. <laughs> this is a box of cobblestone I need to move, by the way. I got it in the mines when I was working, but I, I need to gather up my traveling supplies because we're going traveling. So, horses. First, what are they? Well, they're a creature in Minecraft that you can actually use for transportation. That, that's like the basics. You guys probably already knew that one. But I, you know, I figured I might as well talk about it all. <laughs> what do you need to get a horse? Well, you really just need a saddle and a horse. If you can find a horse and you can find a saddle, then basically jump on the horse a bunch of times until it likes you. Then you can put a saddle on it and it will be your forever friend. So that part is all actually pretty basic and simple, but there's a whole lot more to the horse in terms of depth and personality and characteristics and traits and other fancy words like that that we will be going over a little bit today, but more so once we get into breeding the perfect horse, which is not a plan for today. The plan is to, to just get a horse. Now, where can we find a horse? Well, good question. M me that is asking all of the questions here. Uh, <laughs> you can find a horse spawning usually in a plains biome. Uh, they can wander into other biomes like mountains and, and beaches and sometimes forests, but usually plains. The plains biome is pretty much almost always your best bet. So, 
you better bet that that is where we're headed. There's a plains biome not too far from us, and we have this map in our hand that needs filling in anyway, so I figured we might as well, I guess, start at this mountain biome and work through it into the plains. We're doing, I, I guess, a two-in-one job today, filling in maps and finding new friends. Now, I'm I'm going to play a game, kind of, not, not really, it's not really a game, <laughs> but I, I have a job for you guys. Name the horse that I find. You can wait to name it until you see what it looks like, or you can drop name ideas in the comments right now, and you'll have the chance to name our very first horse that will be our best friend forever, and... Uh, yeah, it'll be a special horse. I have a few ideas of my own that I, I might go with, but I, I don't know. I'm looking to you guys for the help on this one. So, horses, horses, horses. Where are they? They are basically pigs with a long neck, or, or cows with a long neck. That's probably a better uh, explanation of them. <laughs> uh, like that, over, over there, that's a horse. You, I mean, you, you probably already know what a horse looks like, too. <laughs> but I guess, again, you, you never know. You, you, you gotta cover it all. So, hi, horses. How are you? Once you find a horse in your world, politely approach it and ask its name. It won't respond. Then just try and climb on top of it. So the horse is going to kind of move around a little bit and then kick you off. That is intentional. No good friendship is created without any trouble, right? And sometimes you have troubles in a friendship, and the, that's what's going on here. The horse is not too keen on you right away, but that's okay, because eventually it will love you. And you know the horse loves you once it shows the hearts, and this horse did show the hearts. After you have befriended the horse, you can hit E, go into the menu, and equip a saddle. With a saddle on a horse, you can actually control its direction and make a jump whenever and wherever you'd like. And that right there, my friends, brings us to the big three in terms of horse characteristics. Well, I, actually, four. We'll, we'll make it four. The first one is looks. Horses can look very, very different. There are quite a few different horse coats in Minecraft. You could have a brown horse like I have here. You could have a black horse, a white horse, a gray horse, or some kind of combination like a spotted one or a, one with like a sick gradient. <laughs> Something like that. Horses can look different. Like this one, that obviously does not look the same as the one that I have. Now, the look of the horse is purely aesthetic. It, it does not mean a single thing whatsoever. The other three characteristics, those things do mean something. First, what are they? Well, health, running speed, and jumping height. Now, what are each of those things in more depth? Well, health is how many hearts a horse will have. My bet is, if we're lucky, the horse over here that I just passed will actually have a different amount of health than the one that I'm riding right now has. Do you? Yes, you do. So the heart. By the way, the right-hand side hearts are the horse's hearts. Uh, yeah, some horses have more health, some have less, and you probably want more health, especially if you're a goofy person like me. <laughs> and, and I'm not making this up. I, I ride my horse into to gaps and ravines quite often, and it's bad. The horses will take a lot of damage. So you'll probably just be best off with a, with a horse that has more health. Now, the next thing is running speed. Horses run... Oh, oh my gosh, those are the leaves from... Oh, wow. That's from when we first started the world, because our spawn is over here somewhere. And, oh boy, that's our first tree leaves that we cut down. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to move away from those. Maybe they'll stay there. Uh, they'll probably won't. Uh, they're probably going to go away now, but that's really cool. But anyway, the next thing is horse running speed. So let's go ahead and bring our saddle, jump off of this horse, and try this one out. Maybe this one will run at a different pace. Running speed is another thing that is totally up to you. If you like a horse that moves slow, then, then, then do that. Uh, but I like a horse that moves fast. And yeah, you can kind of notice here that this horse is moving a whole lot more slow than my original one, and that's no good. We want this one. So saddle, here you go. This horse moves faster. And then finally, the last thing is jump height. So hold down the space bar and let go once that bottom action bar thing fills up, and that will be your max jump. Horses, again, can have different jump heights. So, what do you have? You have, I think, a weaker jump height. This horse is just an all-around weaker one, and we would never want that unless we wanted the polka dots on a, on a baby horse. So, what do you need to take from all of that? Well, basically, the fact that there are four things about horses that can be different. How it looks, how it runs, how it jumps, and how much health it has. Now, how do you change it? Well, you're going to need to get into 
some horse breeding. And that is something that we will be getting more into in, in a different later episode. You can think of this episode as sort of the basics of horses. But for example, and by the way, I'm looking for more horses. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> but for example, let's say you have a horse with a lot of health, like two bars full of health or something crazy and uh, no jump whatsoever. Like the jump is one block. Then let's say you have a horse that is the opposite, like almost no health, but a crazy, crazy good jump. If you breed those two horses, you'll get a baby horse that is somewhere in the middle. The trait should be pretty much averaged out. Now, is this an exact explanation of how that works? No, not really, not at all. Oh, this one has more health. Mm-hmm. Let's see if you are better. If you're better, then I'm, then I'm ditching my old one. Where did it go, by the way? Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> did I lose my horse already? I hope it didn't go down there. That would be bad. Uh, good thing I have more saddles in case, uh, but what are, what are you like? Uh, you are slow. That's terrible. Uh, you have a decent jump, but slow. So where's my horse? Hmm. Aha, there you are. So horses have this interesting thing. Sometimes when you get off of a horse, it will sort of disappear for some reason. I don't know if that's an Optifine thing or a vanilla Minecraft bug, but yeah, if you get off your horse ever and it seems to be missing completely, try reloading your world. Exit the world, load it back up, and you should be good. So yeah, I think that's a pretty decent crash course on horses and how they work and what they are and what they do. Oh, by the way, the, the do is they move. <laughs> you can use these things for running around your world at a much faster speed. And you know, finally, one thing that I might have brushed over is uh, to mount a horse, you need to have an open hand. You cannot have things in your hand, or at least when you're trying to make a new friend. Empty hand is, is the way to go, the only way to go. Just keep trying over and over again until the horse likes you. But I'm actually pretty impressed with this original horse. So let's go ahead and test the jump height with some blocks here. And then let's talk about a horse ranch. Uh, but two blocks. Can we do this? Uh, yes, we can. Easy. Uh, how about three? Can we do three? Oh, we can. We have a three block jump height. Can we do four? Uh, I doubt it. Uh, we got to fill that bar up. Uh, nope, it doesn't look like it. So three, so, somewhere in the three range is our jump height. Maybe like three and a half. We'll test it uh, a little more when there's not a zombie around me. I heard of that. Uh, where are you, sir? <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. By the way, this is an armor slot. We'll put armor on our horse once we get back over to our base. But now let's talk about horse ranch. Uh, the horse ranch needs to be in a flat, open plains biome. We could do it at spawn, but I don't know if I want to do it at spawn. I feel like at spawn we should have like a travel hub or something, not, not a horse farm. Uh, so I think the other best spot would either be in this field here, right here. I think this is a nice one. Or if we keep moving forwards uh, over to that field, I think we'll find an ocean. This field over here, if this is the right one, is actually kind of in between the cave base and our current, uh, you know, we don't have a name for that area. The city base? I, I don't know, something like that. The cave base is over there, past that shipwreck, and our base is over there. It's actually on this island, but way on the other side. So this would be the other candidate, or this little plain biome over here would be the candidate for our horse ranch. I'm kind of leaning towards something over here because, I mean, it, it wouldn't be a bad, like, checkpoint, you know? I still am a big fan of the whole land transportation thing, the, the road connecting both bases, and uh, checkpoints are always nice to have. So I'm kind of thinking either this plains or that one right there. Why do I want that? Well, I, I don't know. I just kind of imagine uh, horses and like a field and y y it's it's an imagination thing. Our base isn't going to work. There's too many trees, too many hills. Uh, oh, and by the way, horses don't go in the water. So if you want them to go across water, and we do, we want to take our horse over to our normal base, you will need to get off your horse and either put it in a boat and row it across Put it on a lead and pull it across, or nudge it across like I'm doing here. Um, nudging works perfectly fine, so that's that's how I'll do that. It just takes time, so kind of have that in mind, but yep, it's fine. Keep moving, come on, go, 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 go. <laughs> let's, let's, come on, horse, you're my friend. Cooperate, please. Now, my little life hack here is once you get the horse near the land, you can actually jump on it and kind of just keep pressing jump like this. And it doesn't really do anything, but your horse will keep moving and it works because now look, we're over on the land. 
Now the goal is to get our horse all the way back over to our base. We shouldn't have to cross any more lo uh, water. <laughs> any more water. We're going to just run by land and hopefully we won't run into any lava. I guess that's where my brain was going, but uh, how can we fit through? There we go. I'm actually pretty amazed, I've got to be honest, this horse is really, really good, I am so happy with this one. And the name thing, remember, names, if you have an idea, drop it down below, I'll give you credit, of course, and, and we'll maybe name our horse forever. I'll probably name it in like an episode or two's time, probably won't be next episode, but yeah. Now like I said, there are many different colors of horses, uh, but there is actually a few other types, species, if you will, as well, or variants, I, I don't know what it would be. So, of course, you have the donkey, and, and then you have the mule, which is obtained by breeding a horse and a donkey. Uh, then you also have skeleton horses and zombie horses, actually. Now, zombie horses cannot be obtained in survival. Those are off the books. We will never see one in this world. Skeleton horses, however, those things, those are obtainable in survival. When there is a lightning storm or a thunderstorm, uh, oh, sorry horse, <laughs> when there's a thunderstorm, skeleton horses can spawn, and actually, last episode, while I was working on the tunnel, there was a thunderstorm, and I was over by the stronghold, so we are going to find a home for our horse, and then... Uh, fly over to the stronghold and see if there's a skeleton horse over there. I kind of doubt it. That would be pretty lucky. But if there is, we're, we're not only going to have one, but two horses. Now, I am talking about doing the horse ranch elsewhere, and we will be working on that. Probably not today, but we will be working on it. That's where we'll do all of our horse breeding and, and everything like that. Uh, but we definitely will need a little bit of a, a horse stable or a mini ranch over here somewhere. And... I, I think the best place is going to be over here in probably the new part of town. It's not the most accessible part of town right now, but it probably makes sense. Now, you never want to leave your horse out in the open, and I don't trust uh, leads, so what I usually do is make a pen like this. Horse can't get out. Horses need at least two blocks of space to be able to travel, and you see it's invisible. Watch this. Uh, Relog. Thank you, game, for being like this. That was the perfect opportunity to showcase that off. So you see, relog. But this here, this is a poor man's horse stable, and it works amazingly. Now, let's go and get the food that I threw in the furnace at the beginning, and then go over to the stronghold. We're just going to fly. It's a little faster. I don't have the ice in. And maybe we have a skeleton horse over there. That would be crazy. And off we go over to the stronghold you know i thought about it by the way it would have been really cool to do a tunnel on the ocean floor like going to the stronghold that we could see but also at the same time it would not be cool because we need a lot of sponges and we'd have to cut through all of this coral and kill it and i don't know if i like that idea now the thunderstorm was definitely happening when i was over here like under the land uh so what we want to do is basically look around for a skeleton horse There'll be one, and that's basically a trap. As soon as we approach it, there'll be a loud, loud uh, thunderbolt and lightning strike, and then more skeleton horses will appear all of a sudden. Then we have to kill the skeletons on the horses, and then we can take the horses, but I'm not really seeing uh, anything immediately. Mm. And it wouldn't be too far over that way, uh, because this wouldn't have been loaded, I think. Hmm, 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 uh, it's not looking like it, hmm, that's too bad, um, huh, yeah, I don't think we have a skeleton horse over here, that's too bad, I kind of figured though, they're a little more rare, uh, they're definitely a little more cool too, probably, but that's okay, we will definitely get our hands on one eventually, but for now, Let's go back over to our base and talk about a small house, a small stable, a small ranch, I guess, for our horse. Hmm, okay, so we're clearing up the land. Get out of here, man. You're gone. History. Uh, where could we put this horse ranch? Hmm, the horse stable. Uh, I don't know if I really want to go too close to the lava. But we do have room over here, but the, again, the lava. Uh, that's just an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> Maybe we could go, hmm, this is interesting. We, we could go right in the middle, but uh, I don't know if I like that. Uh, 
You know what? I think this is the perfect spot right here. I'm just going to go with it after all. We could have it looking at the pumpkin farm. The location is probably one of the best ones we're going to get because we have direct and easy access to the storage building, to the library, to the elytra takeoff post. Uh, we have that thing over there that we're coming back to soon. Don't worry. Uh... Yeah, okay, let's just clear out this land and make a small little house build. Uh, there shouldn't be too much to it. It'll be easy. It's really just a fenced-in yard for our brand's new friend. And that means a little bit of terraforming is needed here. Let's go ahead and pull this land down. So we'll level that out, and then we'll go ahead and raise this land over here up just a little bit so we have a little bit more room to work with. Okay, let's see what we can do with this amount of land here. It should be good. I'm still a little hazy, if I'm being honest, on, you know, what I want to do with my town over here. I do know that a road will come down from here, and then I'm thinking maybe it'll go a little more diagonal and go over to that tower, and then over this way, and then somewhere in here it'll split off and go over there too, but... I, I don't really know. I think I need to just settle on a location. I could run around here all day long and say I don't know where I want to build this thing. <laughs> so uh, we'll do like a back corner, something strong and, and, and cool like that. Then I think I'd like to do some red terracotta on the build. Maybe we want this terracotta to pop inwards, though. We could do like uh, like fences on this or something, and then this could go up. I, I don't know. Maybe. And... Then we could do like uh, windows. I like to do windows on my builds if you haven't noticed. So we'll do like a three wide window. And then maybe this could be the other corner, honestly. It doesn't need to be big. Uh, you know, maybe we go one more segment. I, I want it to be long. Uh, one, two, three there. And then our corner would be here, I think. We'll go up like that. Um... Yeah, I think so. And then we'll have like a fenced in area out front. Um, I got to get rid of these trees. I think that'll all work and it should all make sense. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so torn on this build. Um, I just don't know. I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't know if you guys thought I could do it or not, but I can do it. Look at this. So... Um, this is going to be our build. I've repositioned it, realigned it. I have the vision. It, it's clear. It all makes sense now. I don't know why I was just kind of picking a random spot back there when I know that I'm going to have a road going in between this build and whatever's over here. So I figured, hey, uh, maybe we line it up to the road and leave a lot of room in between. So we have room for like a main road, uh, like a big path going down here. And then... I think what we could do is have the stable over here, lots of outside room, and then sort of an, an inside room, if you will. I'm putting windows every like other spot, but that is definitely not going to stay, so don't worry, we won't have a billion windows. But this is what I'm thinking for the build. So we have this whole big long back area that will be open. It will be entirely open to the front, at least so horses can kind of walk in and out as they please. And then we'll have a, a roof that goes like, that kind of slopes back right and yeah that'll be the whole build i think i i think all of that makes sense and that should all uh, make sense so time to get the build in time to uh definitely probably add a back door on this too eventually by the way i i started marking roads out with paths and i decided that we could have a road going behind this thing and going over to whatever i put over there hmm what could it be Hmm, 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 suspicious waddles. <laughs> and yep, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get this build in now, and I uh, wish me luck. Uh huh. Okay, well, I have the structure in, and this build is really coming along. I, I just, I'm so happy with it. I, I left a little bit of the red terracotta in. I wanted a touch of color, but I had to switch things up. The large amount of flat terracotta, eh, it really wasn't working here. Now, I need to get some fences in for sure. Uh, probably just oak fences around this thing. I think that would accent the roof pretty well, so we'll do that. Then... 
uh, some gates as well, and uh, then the details. The details are going to be the fun part. We need to get like a water trough in here, and then like hay bales and and lights, and maybe well, eh, I don't know about a campfire. I think a, a horse could probably end up killing itself on a campfire, so that might be a little dangerous. And I've also decided that I'm gonna go ahead and get the road in too today. So I'll pull this road down and then have it cut over this way and i'll probably just have it go straight back to this uh, area over here i'd like to i guess really in a way finish up a big portion of this zone over here and we'll do a double wide fence gate entrance right there by the way but i i think this whole build will stay open in the back and i'll probably add some chests and barrels in the back uh, to store saddles actually eventually we'll move the saddles all the way over to the horse ranch because I don't need a large quantity of saddles in this area like I just don't but for now we can make some sort of storage area probably maybe this back corner could work um, hmm how could we do this we could do oh, you know what we could do we can make it like a counter so let's say corner spruce right because we won't be able to really access it then we could go barrel barrel and barrel barrel like that that looks good then maybe one more barrel that way and then we can put chests on top of it and in here i'm going to do probably i, I think spruce fences uh, i was just waiting for the jungle tree to go completely away but i guess we're good to go now so uh spruce wood where are you at let's go ahead and get that in so, water trough can go in the back here. We'll put it maybe right here. This should be perfect. And we'll just do some fences along the wall. And then I will, of course, need to waterlog these things to get the water inside of it. I, I, I meant stairs. These are stairs, not fences. <laughs> the fences go up here to stop the horse from escaping. And then over here a lot as well to really stop the horse from escaping. Then we'll need some more in here. Some trap doors up there and uh, then bone meal on the ground to get the grass in and you know to add extra detail we'll add some path blocks in here too we want this land to look really really trampled and just worn out like it's been walked on quite a bit and now the 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 moment of truth moving our horse into it's it's new home how beautiful <laughs> we need to make sure uh, all of these windows are nice and safe though and yeah that looks pretty good i i think he's smiling oh <laughs> that, or is that just the face it makes okay <laughs> maybe no smile but it should be pretty good okay so moment of truth here's what i've come up with i think it's pretty cool looking ow <laughs> uh, but this is pretty much the final product i'd like to do a little bit more detailing around here uh as i kind of get more ideas i keep going back to the storage building dropping off stuff from this chest and then saying oh you know that would be cool over here so maybe some potatoes growing there too we have a dancing horse back there yeah i know <laughs> and i will be slowly but surely moving all of our saddles into here like from the afk fish farm i think i can fill up three or four barrels already and then maybe i'll come back and add the chests onto there whenever i need to now i did go ahead and get the road into it's just pretty basic right now but it cuts through here goes over to the pumpkin farm and goes over to the stable and then this road cuts down and goes right over to our uh, elytra tower and then we have room to go to the left to the right if we want to i don't i don't really know still have to get the whole idea in but in general i think the horse stable looks pretty decent now keep in mind we are keeping this area clear for an auto sorter that I should probably do soon for the saplings. That's what I'm thinking back there. And uh, yeah, I think that's just about it though for today and for uh, this whole horse stable area. I definitely need to work on the lighting in here. It is very, very dark, but that's something I can always come back to. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Campfire, campfire. Yes, we need a campfire over there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I always come up with more and more ideas. We'll put a campfire right there. I think that's cool looking. Uh, maybe I'll move it. Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. But overall, I think we're done with this area today. We'll come back later and add lanterns. Or I'll just do it now. <laughs> so, I'd like to send a special shout out to Phoenix S today. Thank you for your support. And uh, with that, it is time for the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is from Kai B. 
Waddles, do you have a creative plot world where you plan builds before you do them in survival? And the answer to that one is no, not really, but kind of. So no, but but actually yes. <laughs> <laughs> so usually I'll uh, think about the build and get a rough idea and then come over into this world and, and build it. I actually don't plan out all of my builds before I do them, but sometimes I do. And when I do plan out the builds, it's literally in a random world. It's just some random creative world that happens to be near the top of my world list menu. I used to have a creative world where I would plan things, but I don't really use it anymore. And oh no, I really need to fix this. I really need to make this not happen. And it looks like I need to... Oh, wow, everything's sorted in there. That's weird. Why in the what? Thank you for watching. Uh, plan on a slime farm next time. And for now, go have a good day. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Anyways, that is just about it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. Remember, patrons get these episodes early, so if you see early comments, that's what's up. It's a patron. And channel members will have that benefit as soon as I get that feature from YouTube as well.